Step number one, put any social account in here. Step number two, click on scrape and boom, we got their 50 most recent posts with all the information. And if you could do this for X, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, and newsletters? Do you think it would help you go viral on social media faster? Well, if so, I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Even if you never set up an automation before, even if you don't have any money to start, you can get this set up in minutes. But if you don't have five minutes to watch this, you're probably not gonna make it because there are some mistakes that I want you to avoid at all costs. So we're gonna set this up in three easy steps. But before that, if you want to duplicate my Airtable base, you can get access for free by going to the school community, clicking the classroom, copy my automations and agents, and finding the social scraper agent right here with all the download links and resources. And if you have any technical setup problems whatsoever, we'll happily hop on a call with you and set it up for you. Get access for free in the description. But now let's get started with step number one, Airtable. As you can see, this is the base where we have all the different profiles and the results that we get by just clicking on scrape in this button, for example, we can hop over to the X results. And in just a couple seconds, you see it gets automatically updated. We can even do more like, for example, let's do Rowan Chung, another amazing AI Twitter creator, and we get the results here in just a couple of seconds. This is really important because you will know exactly what is going on in your niche. And by seeing the impressions and how popular it is, is proof that this is important, which is incredible if you're a content creator, but even for people creating apps, you can find real audience sentiments, create an app for it, and it hopefully gets a lot more engaging than if you are just guessing what to make next. But if you're a complete beginner to automations and agents, I want to tell you why we're using Airtable in comparison to, for example, Google Sheets. So when I first started with automations and building agents, I used Google Sheets for my database, but I quickly found out that the limit was I couldn't really trigger anything. I could store a lot of information, but I couldn't click on a button and that basically fired off an automation or an agent to do a task for me and it just pulled that data back into my Google Sheets. That wasn't possible at all. Then one day I found Airtable and the moment I realized that I could create a button that sends a trigger to make.com where make.com can basically do anything for you. That's the moment I said, wow, this is not just a spreadsheet. This is a launch pad. And what we define it as is a trigger agent. It's not a LLM agent, which you might create with N8N that allows you to, you know, have a Telegram chat bot that does stuff for you, like checking your Gmail or adding things to calendar. For this, we don't have to text at all. We just click buttons to do work for us. And the real reason we're not using LLM agents is because they're unreliable. You might text it, hey, can you scrape Alex Ramosi's last 10 tweets? And it might run a wrong workflow. It might get confused because LLMs are like at an eight out of 10 reliability, meaning if you run it 100 times, 20 of those times, it's going to do wrong things for you. And that's just frustrating. So for me, I really like trigger agents because they're a lot more reliable and it does the thing that I want every single time. So if you want to set this up, what's important is that you copy all the tabs that I have from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, newsletter. Then you have a separate column for the results that you will get from X, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, and NL. Once you have that set up, the next thing you need is to have a scrape button. The easiest way to set this up is just to click edit field then you select one of these uh, type of formats. I'm not sure what they call it here. 
and you click on button. When that is done, you see that we can actually send a URL formula. And this is the secret sauce. As you can see, it's really easy to set up. And what it allows us to do is to send everything that's on the Airtable base into a make.com automation. And if you want to customize it, just send a screenshot of all the different headings that you have into ChatGPT to rewrite it. And the last thing that you need to do is to actually connect the webhook that is right here to make.com. So if we go in here, you can see that everything is triggered by this webhook right here. And if I were to set up a new webhook from a complete new automation, I would just add a custom webhook like this. I would add a new webhook. I'll click on save. I'll copy the address, go back to the social scraper, select everything all the way to the question mark right here, then click on paste. And just like that, you can trigger any automation that you want with just a click of a button. It's not cool. So you're now able to set up an Airtable base and you're able to create a trigger AI agent. In a minute, I'll show you exactly what we're going to trigger and how we get all the data from all the different social media platforms. But before that, let's jump to step number two, Appify. As you can see, this is the platform we're using for web scraping. And one of the biggest reasons is that you get a lot of generations or scrapes for free. But even more importantly, they have so many actors that allows you to scrape basically anything from all of social media to e-commerce sites, Facebook ad library, and a lot, lot more. Before I found Appify, I basically didn't have any idea that right now we have the technology to essentially scrape everything that is publicly available online. And you might know the saying that data is the new oil. There's an Instagram Appify, YouTube Appify, TikTok Appify, and a X Appify. LinkedIn, we are using Rapid API, which is a little bit of a different workflow. And for newsletters, we're actually using modules that are natively in make.com. Here you can see the Instagram one, the YouTube one, the TikTok one, and the tweet scraper. All you need to do here is to create a task. What this does is that allows us to run that task again with different variables through automation. So we just name it something like um, Andy May 8, so we can easily find it later, click on continue, and that's basically that step set up. We do the exact same thing with the Instagram scraper, create a new task, name it something different, the same create task, the same on TikTok as well, create a new task so we can run it with custom variables later. If you wanna test it before you actually run, you can click on start here, then it's going to run. And I also wanna show you that it's all free. When we are running it, you can see that the memory is going up in the bottom left corner. You also see that we have free usage all the way up to $5 right here. Not sure the cost with this one, but it's only a couple of cents per post that we are getting. You can see that it's starting to crawl two out of 21 pages. And just like that, we are just getting this beautiful data back. Pretty cool, right? But it's not as useful as if we were to pull it back into Airtable again and can use that data in the way that we want it to be used. So that's why we need to go to step number three, make.com. If you haven't used make.com before, it allows us to again, trigger the webhook via Airtable then we connect it directly into one of the Appify tasks that I just showed you how to set up. And then we create new records in Airtable based on the data that we got in the Appify scraper. You can go in the description and get this master make blueprint for free inside the community. And all you need to do then is to click on the three dots in the bottom, click on import blueprint, choose the file we just downloaded, click on save, and just like that, it's all populated for you. Now, if you wanted to set this up on your own, all you have to do is really set up the webhook that I showed you how to set up in step number one. Then we route them through a router that has a filter. So if we get the URL tiktok.com, 
we send them through this workflow right here. This top one is the filtering for days. So for example, if I go to TikTok, I select what to scrape, we can select between recent videos or last X days. The X days is the top automation that is happening in the top part here. The filter for the bottom half is recent videos. This is my favorite one because it only gives us the most recent and up-to-date posts. To set it up is as easy as clicking on the Appify module. You do have to add an Appify connection where you just connect to your account. Then you select the tasks that I showed you in the step number two. So it could be any of these ones. Take a screenshot of this JSON override here that allows us to customize it. For example, the URL of the profile we want to scrape, the number of days that we want to scrape. And these are some other variables that we can choose to include or not include. And then we click on save. That starts to run that Appify scraper. Then we wait a little bit to get the dataset items. When it's finished, it's going to give the default dataset idea from this module it's going to give us clean data transformation, the JSON format with a limit of 300. Lastly, we just have to create a record. So here we just connect to our Airtable base. We click on the table that we actually wanted to have the output. You see the fire icon is the results page. The profile icon or the head is the profile page. Then we just add all the things that we need from the Appify data set into our Airtable base, like the text, share count, bookmarks, comments, likes, views, and the URL, and we click on save. Now, if we click on run once, we can see that nothing happens. And that's because this is a trigger agent. We go back to the Airtable. As you can see, we have last X days. And if I click on this, I'll hold control click, by the way, if you want to just open in the top, as you can see, it runs through the Appify here. We have already selected the parameters that it's going to do. It takes a little bit of time for it to run. And if we hop back into the Airtable base again in the fire emoji, you can see we got 10 videos here on TikTok from Alex Hermosi, where this one definitely got a lot more impressions than others, where we can easily open the description here. We have the URL itself to the TikTok video if you actually want to watch it. You even have the duration of the video. And you might see that we have an additional button here that allows us to transcribe the video itself. This is as easy as setting up a new button that that triggers a new workflow in Make that allows us to get the transcript. So we get even more data seeing all the input that went into the TikTok algorithm. And we also get all of the output that came from the algorithm as well in the sense of views, likes and shares. And since you know how trigger agents work now, you can easily make another button by duplicating the field, call it something like ChatGPT rewrite, then set up a simple automation just like this that takes the transcript you put a prompt in there to create it into other type of social content or whatever you want ChatGPT to do for you. Click the button again and you get the ChatGPT output right here. And once you start getting more advanced, you can do things like turning a website into a YouTube short script to create the voiceover in my voice, to turn the script into images, then turning those images into actual videos with Kling just like this. So subscribe to the channel to learn more about this. So I've shown you how to use Airtable to create trigger agents, Appify to scrape anything on the web and make.com to make the automations run smoothly. Hopefully you got something out of this. And if you don't wanna set this up on your own, you can actually download everything that I showed you on this video in the community, in the description completely for free. Just go to the classroom, copy my automations and agents find the social scraper agent at the bottom where you have all the download links for everything we talked about here, as well as a step-by-step -step download video. So you can set this up as quick as possible. So go into the link in the description and get started. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.